This piece was commissioned by Stanford and uh, the artist's name is Leo Villarreal, who's an artist we've been working with and growing with for about 10 years. We work with Leo in order to create the structural and ornamental metalwork that encapsulates his LED display systems. The piece is called Buckyball, referential of Buckminster Fuller's uh, original mathematic equations, which arrived at this shape, which is a truncated isohedron. The general structure of the Buckyball is relatively simple, like it's just made of hubs and hexes and pents and very simple mathematical formulas. So it's simplicity made complex, and then in the end, it kind of goes back to being simple again. At this point, it's not even considered a piece of artwork yet until Leo arrives on scene and adds his magic and creates the actual work of artwork on the structure that we've created for him. My background is in sculpture. I studied art and then got into technology in the early 90s. It took me a while to find my medium, but eventually in 1997 connected software and light, which was a very potent mix. Um, because I didn't really like representations of light on, on projections or screens, the epiphany was putting those two things together was quite powerful. I'm using the form of the buckyball, which represents a sort of geometry and space, but then I'm lining that structure with LED tubes. So I'm adding a temporal aspect to it because I can sequence those tubes to be any of, you know, 16 million colors. So I'm moving light around the form and activating the form over time, which gives it yet another dimension. I'm spending night after night um, with buckyball and programming it and seeing what it can do and tuning it so that it, it works for its environment. And it's, a, it's a tricky process, but I think the site specificity of it is something that's critically important to me. So it's made for this place. Part of that process of tuning and adjusting is seeing the piece from as many vantage points as I can. So um, certainly out here, I've been programming it outside, but I've gone inside the hospital and looked at it from all the different vantage points from uh, you know, the waiting rooms to you know, some of the hospital rooms. When pieces attach themselves to buildings, they normally become the face of the building, so they become the character of the building, and people start to associate the building with a piece of art. As I've gotten farther and farther involved with public art, it is that conversation that really draws me to installing public art. It becomes a part of the city that I live in, and it, there's an immense amount of pride. This will be something people see in very sensitive times of their life, and I hope Leo's piece can bring them calmness and some sensitivity that they wouldn't otherwise get from, you know, just a drive-through area. This piece serves as an entrance point and fulcrum of the hospital. We're hoping that this piece gives people a icon to associate with the hospital, that they're able to engage with their entire stay of the hospital, and keeps their mind off of what may be a complicated procedure they're undergoing. Well, I'm really incredibly honored to be able to build a piece and make it part of uh, Stanford's collection and part of the campus. My hope is that this piece creates something that's very welcoming to people, that um, something memorable, something that people can spend some time looking at. And people have often described my pieces as digital campfires and it creates a sense of community and people want to gather around it. So I hope that that's how it will end up functioning.